Hello and welcome to introduction to image processing using MATLAB the 7th session. Today we will talk about point transformations. In a point transformation we apply a transformation on each and every pixel of an image and to get the resulted image. We are not bothered about the uh, spatial surroundings of that pixel. We just apply it on each and every pixel to get the resultant image. So we have uh, point operations such as thresholding, contrast stretching, logarithmic operator, exponential and histogram equalization. So we will just look at them one by one. So I say i is equal to I am read cameraman dot diff. In the thresholding I will just say i1 is equal to i greater than 120. So what am I doing? I am just assigning the values of I, I greater than 120 in 20 uh, assigned a 1 and the rest are assigned 0. Say I am show I1. This shows me a binary image. This we had already discussed. Now I will now try to add increase the intensity of the pixel. So I can just maybe say I double first. Remember we have to convert it to a double to be able to do arithmetic operations on any image and id1 is equal to id plus maybe I'll add 100 value to it. Now when I say I'm show u int 8 remember we have to convert it to a u int unsigned integer to be able to do the display operation on the image. Now we get a, you know, the intensity value is light here. So we've added an intensity of 100 pixels to each and every image. It's giving a washed out kind of a look. We can also decrease. So I can say ID2 is equal to ID minus say 50. And I'm sure ID2. So it's a darker image. Because you can just compare it by saying figure I am show I. That's my original image. So you can see the difference between these images. It's apparent. I can also do a lot of other functions. I have inbuilt functions for this. So I can say I am add. So I will maybe say id2 is equal to I am add and just give the value the original image i and 100 i did too so the same figure we get because i am added specifically meant for images so we don't have to convert it into double and then convert it back into uint so then there are other operations such as i am subtract i 30 And maybe I can assign it to value y is equal to swan figure y. And then I have I am multiply. I can multiply it with a factor whatever I want. So maybe I see 0 0.5. Again, assign it to y. So that's the multiplication. I can divide. So I can again say y is equal to I am divide by this. So that's how you get this. I can say I am complement. And I just get the image name. So I should get the complement of this image. So you can see it's a negative image. So these are the inbuilt functions. Now in the next lecture we will look at applying this power transformations by writing our own programs. 